Hey everybody, today is May 30th, 2020. In this video, we're going to talk about the major news story from this week. In Minneapolis, Minnesota, a police officer is being charged with the death of George Floyd, a man who was counterfeiting a, ten, a $20 bill, allegedly. And what should have been a routine arrest led to his death. Now in this video, we're going to explore the numeric ritual that, behi that sits behind this story. Nothing in the mainstream media is as it seems, and the people of this nation are being manipulated by a hidden force that's directing this country through an agenda. And the agenda is that they want a race war in this country. They want to divide the people, and essentially they're trying to brew hatred, and this case is a perfect example. So in this video, we're going to look at several aspects of this story and how they all relate numerically. We'll talk about how this relates to the 2016 shooting of Philando Castile, who was shot and killed by a police officer just outside of Minneapolis. We're going to talk about how this relates to a basketball player named Sleepy Floyd, who played for the Houston Rockets up until the year 1993, the same year that George Floyd graduated high school in Houston. It just so happens that George Floyd is the friend of a former NBA player, Stephen Jackson, also from Houston. And think about how Stephen Jackson is calling George Floyd his twin. Of course, this ritual occurred in the Twin Cities, Minneapolis and St. Paul. Stephen Jackson has a very curious detail. His, name is, his middle name is Jesse, so we're going to look at how this relates to Jesse Jackson. Also, perhaps the most famous athlete named Floyd, undefeated boxer Floyd Mayweather, also numerically related to this. But in order to truly understand what the secret societies who run this nation are doing, we need to look at the Eclipse Crucifixion Code. Now, in the description below this video, you'll find a few links. One of them points to the 1331 Eclipse Code, which is perhaps the most significant number to this entire ritual. There's also a link to my original presentation on the Eclipse Crucifixion Code from last year. And all you have to do is familiarize with yourself with those numbers, with the concept and the formulas that they're using, and the mainstream media becomes stunningly clear. Of course, the governor of Minnesota, Tim Waltz, also involved here. So we're going to look at the numerology of Minnesota, um, the death of Eric Garner, another man who was choked out and killed by police, and how these are all numerically related. So this is going to be a little bit of a longer video. Um, there's really no way for me to keep this simple. I could share very basic numerology with you, but um, unfortunately I have to show the, the entirety of the code so that we can truly understand the formulas again that they're using. So just like all of these numeric rituals, this occurred by what's called the Eclipse Crucifixion Code. This story of the crucifixion of Jesus printed in the New Testament, and we'll be looking at the gematria of the King James Bible a little bit throughout this as well. So the deaths of celebrities, actors, musicians, rappers, but particularly black men, are almost always aligned with this code. And of course, Jesus, unlikely that he was white, if he wasn't black, he was probably at least brown. So, in order to understand this code, we need to first look at the date that it's said that Jesus was crucified. Now, if you ask Bing or Google, they'll both tell you Friday, April 3rd in 33 AD. I listed a couple of other sources here. One of these sources, curiously, printed the results of a new study on the date May 25th back in 2012. May 25th, perhaps coincidentally, the date that George Floyd was killed in Minneapolis. The state of Minnesota is created entirely around this Eclipse Crucifixion Code. For starters, Minnesota was the 32nd state admitted to the Union. Notice how the name Christ sums to 32 in reduction. The current uh, governor of Minnesota, Tim Waltz, has gematria of 32. And the Minneapolis police cruiser that was used in this ritual 
appropriately use number 320. This is also a significant number to the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. 32, the melting point of ice. Now, in English gematria, the state of Minnesota has gematria of 515. This is the same value in the same cipher as Jesus. And again, it's believed that Jesus died in the year 33, at the age of 33. 33 also with gematria of 515. In the standard alphabetic order, Jesus sums to 74. The state of Minnesota was admitted to the Union on a date with 74 numerology. 74 is highly significant to this code. Not only does Jesus equal 74, but he died on the cross, which is 74. He was the Messiah. His story was told in the gospel in the form of parables. And this has everything to do with the killing of Jesus. Notice how killing also equals 74. But killing has double gematria of 115 in both the reverse order and Latin gematria. Well, the date 11 slash 5 is the date on which Minnesota was admitted to the Union. May 11th is the 131st day of the year. The word crucifixion equals 131. By the way, 131 is the 32nd prime number, lining up with you know, Minnesota being the 32nd state. State of Minnesota equals 92, Minnesota equals 38. 92 and 38, both found in the numerology of the state's admission. So why Minnesota of all states to be imbued with this Eclipse Crucifixion Code? Well, if you look at the picture on the right, you'll see that the 93rd meridian slices through the state of Minnesota, and particularly the city of Minneapolis, which has coordinates of 93 degrees west. Jesus is the Son of God, and the Son is an average of 93 million miles from the earth. Of course, during the crucifixion, darkness fell over the sky. And this is all symbolism, the death of the Son of God, just like the death of the Son during an eclipse. Notice how God's son equals 93. Jesus was from Nazareth, which was 93. 93 also the value of crucifix. The crucifixion on April 3rd occurred on the 93rd day of the year. Notice how Minneapolis, Minnesota equals 93 in Gematria, sitting on the 93rd meridian. This is a number that's also coded into every single major sports team in Minneapolis. Minnesota Timberwolves 93. Minnesota Vikings 93, the Minnesota Twins 93, and even Minnesota Wild sums to 193. The current governor of Minnesota, Tim Waltz, was born on a date with primary numerology of 93. George Floyd graduated high school in the year 93. He's being accused of counterfeiting a $20 bill, which equals 93. And then the incident was filmed by Darnella Frazier, which sums to 93. This woman, curiously, has basically the perfect gematria for this ritual. And it seems like she was a plant to, in order to film this. And if you listen to the video, you'll hear her make comments like, It's the whites. They just like messing with black people. Again, in, in attempting to incite more anger and rage. So we explained the 93 in relation to Minneapolis. But the number 33, the age at which Jesus was when he was crucified, is also significant. In the alphabetic order, crucifixion of Jesus Christ equals 303. In the reverse alphabetic order, Minneapolis, Minnesota equals 303. In ordinal, Minneapolis Police Department equals 303s. MPD, the abbreviation, also 33. And we're going to look at how this ritual is related to the mayor of Minneapolis, Minnesota, which also equals 330. So let's talk about Jacob Fry a little bit. This man, once again, the mayor of Minneapolis, Minnesota. 
And we're going to have to use the numerology of Minnesota's date of admission. Normally, I would look at the city's date of incorporation, but I was unable to find one from uh, Minneapolis. So Minnesota was admitted to the Union in the year 1858. 1858 is very significant to the Eclipse Crucifixion Code. Using the alphabetic order, Eclipse Crucifixion Code equals 227. The 227th prime number is 1433, which is also the value of the same phrase. Notice the reduction value of 119. The attacks of September 11th, or the 11 slash 9, was the biggest Eclipse Crucifixion Code ritual of all time. And here we have the death of a man named George Floyd, whose name equals 119. But let me explain more about this. So this sums to 227, which is a number related to the circle. If you take a calculator and use 22 divided by 7, you get 3.14, the smallest equation to get the first three digits of pi. This also works in gematria, 22 divided by 7 summing to 314. If you use Alt-227 on a Windows keyboard, you get the pi symbol. When you write out the number of degrees in a circle, you get 227. Now on the calendar, the 227th day of the year is August 15th, or the date written 15 slash 8. This is really interesting because the date 518 is the date leaving 227 days on the calendar. So both August 15th and May 18th have the same digits, 1, 8, and 5. In ordinal, crucifixion code equals 158. Again, a lot like the 227th day of the year. Minnesota, again, founded in the year 1858. And check out how both the governor and the mayor of Minneapolis both have gematria of 85 and 158, the only digits found in the uh, establishment year of Minnesota. As far as the 85, the word crucify equals 85. Freemasonry, also summing to 158. And Jacob Fry has overlap with Freemasonry in gematria, 1147. But what's really wild about this guy's uh, numerology is that he's the mayor of Minneapolis, Minnesota, which sums to 237 ordinal. Jacob Fry was born on the date July 23rd, written 23-7. When he was sworn in as mayor, the state of Minnesota was a span of 237 days or 7 months 23 days after its anniversary. When Jacob Fry was born, the state of Minnesota was 123 years and 74 days old. So notice how in reduction, crucifixion of Jesus Christ equals 123. This ritual involved George Floyd and Derek Chauvin. When you combine their gematria, you get 123. This ritual was 10 months and 23 days after the most recent total solar eclipse. As far as the 74, this is the ordinal value of Jesus, also the reverse value of Jesus Christ. Now in ordinal, Jesus Christ equals 151. Jacob Fry has gematria of the 151st prime number. The governor of Minnesota, born on a date with 74 numerology. And Tim Waltz's numerology, really interesting as well. When he became the governor last year in January, he was exactly 19,999 days old. A number with four upside-down sixes. 
But perhaps what's even more interesting is that he, he took office on January 7th. This means that on the date of the death of George Floyd, he had been in office for one year, 139 days. 1139 is the English value of crucifixion. In Jewish gematria, crucifixion equals 709. The death of George Floyd fell a span of exactly 70 months and 9 days after the death of Eric Garner, who was also choked out by police. Both men screaming, I can't breathe, while they were dying. Notice how I can't breathe sums to 74. So again, down below I have a video on the eclipse, or I'm sorry, my blog post on the eclipse code and its relation to the number 1331. Um, this is no doubt the most significant number related to this code. And really, Latin gematria seems to be built around this number. There was one total solar eclipse in the year 1331. 1331 eclipse equals 1331. It was on the date November 30th, which is the only date that equals 1331. And think about how this number represents an eclipse. This is the merging of two numbers, 133 and 331. 133 equals 1331. And of course, so does 331, the same letters. And there's even more to this, but... Notice how Jesus the Messiah sums to 1331. Again, the 1331 eclipse, the only one to not ever touch a major body of water. Jacob Fry, when he was sworn into office, he was a span of 13,313 days old. The name Jacob sums to 13 and 31. When he was born, the, date, the numerology of the date was 130 and 31. Think about the initials, Jesus Christ, JC equaling 13. Now when you write out the number, 1,331, it sums to 2929. And on the date George Floyd died, Governor Tim Waltz was exactly 2,929 weeks old. In the reverse alphabetic order, Jesus Christ equals 146. George Floyd was killed on the 146th day of a leap year. Earlier I mentioned how it's related to this basketball player named Sleepy Floyd. Now, I was unable to confirm this myself when I was watching the video, but a couple of people told me that George Floyd said he was getting sleepy while he was getting choked out, which is a very, very strange thing to say. And again, George Floyd from Houston, a friend of this basketball player. And the Houston Rockets had a basketball player named Sleepy Floyd. Again, he played with the Rockets until 1993. 93, the year that Floyd graduated. Well, I want you to check out this guy's name, Eric Floyd. Using the reverse alphabetic order, this sums to 146. So the crucifixion of Jesus happened again on the 93rd day of the year, the date April 3rd, which is written 4 slash 3. Jesus Christ equals 43 in reduction, so does the word killing. And it just so happens that George Floyd equals 43, killed by an officer named Derek, which equals 43. This also relates to previous eclipse rituals in Minneapolis. Remember the death of Philando Castile? Philando equals 43. There was also a shooting death of a man named Jamar Clark in 2015. Jamar equals 43. Jacob Fry, the mayor of Minneapolis, was sworn in 163 days after his birthday. Now, 163 is the 38th prime number. Of course, Minnesota summing to 38, admitted to the Union on a date with 38 numerology. 
The number 38 is very significant in death and killing rituals. Death, killing, murder, RIP, all summing to 38. 38, the number that's even coded into the movie poster for Murder by Numbers. Now, on the date of this murder ritual, the mayor of Minneapolis, Jacob Fry, was 38 years, 308 days old. Floyd died on 38th and Chicago, 38th Street. Notice the license plate of his car, BRJ026, summing to 38 in Gematria. In the reverse alphabetic order, death of George Floyd equals 308. And notice the full name of Sleepy Floyd, the basketball player. This sums to 308 in the alphabetic order. Mayor Jacob Fry was sworn in on the date 1218. And it seems like the officer is coded alongside this as well. Derek Chauvin sums to 1218 in Gematria. Now, another number that's really significant to the Eclipse Crucifixion Code is 226. Now, this number is closely related to 300, or I'm sorry, to 33. Notice how both numbers that 33 sums to equal 226 in ordinal. Crucifixion of Jesus equals 226. Remember the World Trade Center bombed on February 26th in the, in the year 93? In Greek ordinal, the name Jesus Christ equals 226. And this basketball player, Eric Augustus Floyd, in ordinal, his name equals 226. The mayor of Minneapolis, Jacob Fry, was 2,026 weeks old during the date of this ritual. Of course, he then turned 2,027 weeks old when protests got violent. 227, again, Eclipse Crucifixion Code, Jesus Crucifixion. In Hebrew, total eclipse equals 227 as well. So I pointed out how Jacob Fry's birthday is 23-7. Now he's the mayor of Minneapolis, Minnesota. 237. Well, there's something interesting about the date, 723, the mayor's birthday. Notice how this is the 204th day of the year. In Jewish gematria, crucifixion of Jesus Christ equals 2040. During the crucifixion, there was a sign over Jesus' head that read, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Notice how this also sums to 2040. If you're familiar with my work, you may remember that rapper Mac Miller died 2040 days before the 2024 eclipse. Uh, just a couple weeks ago, I successfully predicted the date of the death of a rapper who died 204 weeks before the eclipse. I didn't call exactly who would die, but I did say we would see the death of a musician on that date. So the number 204 is significant to the crucifixion. Well, notice how Minneapolis PD equals 204. Floyd was arrested for counterfeiting a $20 bill, which equals 204. The name of the officer with capital letters, his name equals 240. But when you combine these names, George Floyd, Derek Chauvin, you get a sum of 240. And there's even more weird things about this. And again, all these people are protesting this as if it were a real murder and that there's real injustice, but they have no idea how they're being manipulated. What are the odds that George Floyd, who used to live in Houston and has only lived in Minneapolis for a couple years, he and Derek Chauvin, the officer who killed him, both worked at the same nightclub. And they had overlapping security shifts. What are the fucking odds of this? So again, you know, this ritual happened like a block or two away from a Prince Hall Freemasonry Lodge. And Prince Hall Freemasonry is typically for the African-American members. 
And it seems pretty obvious here that George Floyd, a man who moved all the way up north to Minnesota in his 40s, is connected to this to this cult. Probably went up, moved up there, started a quick life, and then faked his death. That would be my theory. Of course, I can't prove that, but I think it's pretty obvious given what we're explaining here. So right now, we're in this period between the two great American eclipses. And this explains why we're getting the coronavirus near the midway point of these two eclipses. The corona, which is Latin for crown, is also the name for the atmosphere of the sun, which is only visible during a total solar eclipse. These two eclipses create an X over the United States. They're separated by 2,423 days, which is very interesting because that's the 360th prime number. Again, 360 degrees in a circle. 2423 is also the gematria of six years, six months, six weeks, and six days. And if you measure between these eclipses, that's the exact amount of time you get. The mayor of uh, Minneapolis, on the date of this eclipse crucifixion ritual, had been in office for two years, four months, and 23 days. Measuring from the date of George Floyd's death to the 2024 Great American Eclipse is exactly 220 weeks. Total solar, I'm sorry, 202 weeks. Total solar eclipse equals 202. Of course, this is the year 2020. Now, there is a total solar eclipse in 2020. This eclipse in 2020 falls on the midway point exactly of the two great American eclipses. And the date that this story made national news was 202 days before the 2020 total solar eclipse. The governor of Minnesota is named Timothy James Waltz, which equals 220. And the date of this incident left 220 days in the year. By the way, 220 is all the rage this year. Coronavirus pandemic equals 220. Declared a pandemic on 11 slash 3. President Donald John Trump equals 220. The head of FEMA, Thomas Peter Gaynor, or I think it's Peter Thomas Gaynor, his name also equals 220. This ritual was also exactly 29 weeks and zero days before the 2020 eclipse. Notice how Christ equals 290, so does Jesus, 29. The officer who killed the man, Derek, equals 29. The crucifixion occurred in the nation of Israel in the New Testament. In Hebrew gematria, Israel equals 541. This officer's name, Derek Chauvin, equals 541. In English gematria, Derek Chauvin equals 895. This number, also super significant, 33 equals 895, the age at which Jesus was. Ritual human sacrifice equals 895. It was the betrayal from Judas that led to the crucifixion, 895. And then the name Jesus equals 985. The name Chauvin also gives us a 666 and a 33. These are connected. The name Derek Chauvin also equals 173. This number related to the eclipse code. Jesus yelling Eli during the crucifixion, which is the number 173 upside down. Very related to the crucifixion code as well. But I want you to notice something else. The name Derek Chauvin sums to 68 in reverse reduction gematria. This is the reduction value of crucifixion, 68. And remember this player, Sleepy Floyd, Derek Chauvin putting Floyd to sleep? This man was born on March 6th of 1960, which means on that date he was exactly 60 years and 80 days old. I mean, this is incredible, guys. Crucifixion 68, Derek Chauvin 68, putting Floyd to sleep when Sleepy Floyd is 60 years and 80 days old. Can you believe it?
I also want to look at the establishment that this ritual occurred outside of, a place called Cup Foods. Cup Foods has matching gematria with the number 13, 99 and 117. Again, 13, the value of JC, the initials of Jesus Christ. The word cup has perfect overlap with JC. The word cup has double gematria of 373. That's the 74th prime number. Jesus equals 74. So does Jesus Christ. But notice how cup foods equals 603 in English. JC equals 603 in Jewish. Crucifixion of Jesus Christ, 603 with capital letters. This occurred on Memorial Day, which is 630. This ritual also very related to the death of Philando Castile, which we'll get into in a little bit. Um, actually, I'll pull this back up in a, in a couple slides. I want to look again at the name of the woman who filmed this. Well, I don't know why it doesn't have her name here anymore. It used to be on Wikipedia. Maybe they took her name off. They didn't want her being um, scrutinized or something. I don't know. But look at the name Darnella Frazier. There's so many interesting things about this name. First of all, the 93, which we led the video off with. Notice her gematria of 255 in reverse. This ritual occurred on the date 25-5. In Sumerian gematria, total solar eclipse equals 1212. The name Darnella Fraser equals 1212. In ordinal, Darnella Fraser equals 150. Crucifixion of Jesus Christ equals 150. In reduction, Darnella Fraser equals 78. The man that she filmed murdering the suspect was Chauvin, which equals 78. Remember how George Floyd is friends with Stephen Jackson, the former NBA player? Well, check out. He was born in the year 78. He has the middle name Jesse, so this led me to Jesse Jackson, who was 78 years old. And look at this, Jesse Jackson was exactly a span of 33 weeks after his birthday. And look at this, he was even born on a date with 78 and 33 numerology. Holy crap, I didn't even catch that when I first decoded this. Born on a date, 78, 33, and he's 78 years and 33 weeks old. Jesse Jackson, tying to Stephen Jesse Jackson. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Darnella Frazier, also 202, like total solar eclipse, exactly 202 weeks before the Great American Eclipse. I noticed a few interesting things about the name Floyd. He was 46 years old. This was 46 months before the 2024 eclipse. It was also 46 weeks after the last eclipse. He was from Houston, which has matching gematria with Christ and Jesus the Messiah. Just... A lot of matches here, but worth noting. I also forgot to mention Delhi equals 78. Steven Jackson, 74, the basketball player. Death of George Floyd, 78, or 74. And uh, I Can't Breathe, 74, as I mentioned. Stephen Jackson was also 316 days before his birthday. That's the Hebrew value of Jesus. It just never ends with this stuff. Uh, I'm just kind of going through some of other, some other slides that I put together. And I did want to touch on the Philando Castile shooting from 2016. So this occurred on the date July 6th, 2016. And July 6th is written either... 6 slash 7 or 7 slash 6. 
Notice how Philando Castile equals 67 and 76. This man's name also equals 257. Total solar eclipse 257. He was a blood sacrifice 257. In Sumerian gematria, Philando Castile equals 888. This is the Greek isopsophy value of Jesus. The New Testament begins with the 42 generations to Jesus. The King James Bible had 42 lines printed out. Philando Castile equals 420. Forty two equals a hundred and forty two. Remember Jesus was an eclipse sacrifice, one forty two. And if you measure from this man's death in twenty sixteen to the death of George Floyd, you get exactly one thousand four hundred twenty days. Wow, this is also two hundred and two weeks. So let's check out the name Philando. Here we get a value of 192 in Jewish gematria. This is eclipse. Notice how eclipse equals 69 in English. That's the English value of Castile. If you measure from the death of Philando Castile to the first great American eclipse, it was 411 days. Now, the first verse of the Bible, which is about creation and division, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, 411. The 411th prime number is 2833. Philando Castile died exactly 2833 days before the second great American total solar eclipse. So you had a prime number relationship in relation to both eclipses, and it's just the perfect date. I think I pointed most of the interesting things out about this. Um, so, yeah, just, uh, just making sure I didn't really forget anything. I know this is a long video. I touched on a lot here. Oh, the death of Eric Garner. I want to show you how this is related. And again, this is the other black man who was killed by police after saying, I can't breathe. And look at the time of this incident, 3.30. The address, 2.02. Are you starting to notice trends here with the code that I'm ex exploring? Well, this death occurred in the year 2014, which has the digits 214. It was exactly 2,140 days before the death of George Floyd. George Floyd died in the year 2020, which equals 214. Eric Garner, also 62, like Floyd, 62. Jesus of Nazareth is 62. And of course, this is very significant. Checked out the 1776, the year that the United States was founded. Very significant number. Now, wouldn't you believe Philando Castile was 32 years old? Minnesota, the 32nd state. Christ equals 32. The 32nd prime, 131. Minnesota founded on the 131st day of the year. So I'm sure there's more guys, but what more do you really need to see? Again, these rituals are plain as day. Once you understand the Eclipse Code, it all falls into place very neatly. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks to everybody who jumped in on the live stream. Um, keep an eye out for my blog. I'm going to make a post on this and... I'm also going to be making a new video on how September 11th was the ultimate eclipse crucifixion ritual. And I did a video on that about two and a half years ago, but I think it's like an hour and a half long. I'm going to do a little shorter one. 
so that people can see that this is 100% the code that's being used by the mainstream media. All right, guys. Peace, love, God bless. Hope everyone enjoys the rest of your weekend. Stay safe out there, and we'll talk to you soon. See ya.